I don't like how this looks. Oh, oh God. You know we don't have time, right? Sorry, I am almost done. Ha! Hey, Tuan, don't tell me you're not ready yet. Why is your face like that? What's wrong? I don't like my hair. <laughs> hmm. I don't see the problem. It's perfect from where I'm standing. Excuse us. Kim. My baby girl, <laughs> looking like one of them British royal brides. Are you sure? Of course. Would I lie to you? Mm -hmm. Sit, sit. <laughs> hmm. Here you go. <laughs> the wedding starts at ten. That's in five minutes time. What? So what are we still doing here? Hmm? Where are we going to go? Any of his friends, I don't know. I don't know. Chief, what is happening? Why has your son chosen to embarrass us like this? I can't really understand him myself. My brother has never done anything like this. I just hope nothing bad has happened to him. So what are we going to do now? Yeah? Please call ah. him his second what line. Call somebody, what anybody. Is Oh, what's going on here? It's, it's not ringing, it's not ringing. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to call the best man. Try him again, please. Try, try him again. The phone is switched off. Hmm? Then, then, then try his best man. Both numbers can be switched off. Unless... Unless what? Oh God! Oh God! Please, no! You don't have to assume the worst yet, please. Just how can you me leave me here for two hours? We've been waiting for two hours. It's ringing, boy. He's not picking up. Oh my God! What have I done to deserve this? Why would he leave us waiting for two hours at our own wedding? I just hope he has a very good excuse to this because this is no longer funny. It's not. Have you spoken to him yet? His phone is switched off. What about um, the best man? The best man's phone is ringing, but he's not picking up. Something must have happened. Something must have happened. Something must have happened. Oh my God. Driver, stop this car. Driver. Driver, what is it again, Yemi? What is it? What is it again, Yemi? We have, we, have, we have wasted enough time already. 
pity the poor girl and let's just get there. I can't. Oh, God. I can't go through with this. I just can't. For crying out loud, we've been through this already, Yemi. I told you. You agreed to do this for something to embarrass the girl and her family. What's all this again, Yemi? Driver, turn this car around. Driver, do not move this car. Moses, please take me to the airport. I need to leave this country. Guy, the only place we're taking you to is the church where everybody's... Yemi, where you go? Hey, man, what's up? Hey, listen. It will be a fluke to marry that girl. I cannot lie to her, and I definitely will not lie to myself. Oh, come on, man. Marrying that girl is an emotional suicide. God. And I cannot be held responsible for killing another man's daughter. Hell no. I can't believe you're saying all this. And you have to wait to this last moment to realize this? What kind of carelessness is this? You think I don't feel sorry? I feel terrible. I feel so terrible. God. That girl put up a challenge on me. And you know how much I love challenges. I mean, how can you say that we cannot have sex until after marriage? I love sex! That is putting that one cookie on lockdown. And guess what? I will find that key to unlock it. So I propose. Well, I didn't mean it, but I did. Oh, and before I knew it, she started arranging things, clothes, dresses. Things were just happening so fast, my head started spinning. But bottom line is, I will not be trapped in this thing called marriage. You're a best. An animal, that's what you are, yes! Hey, yes listen, calm down. You can't talk to me like that. Calm down! Look, just do me a favor. Go to the church, talk to them, and tell them that this thing cannot work. You must be kidding. Are you expecting me to go clean up your mess? Is what you're asking me to do? You're my best man, with or without marriage. God, I can't even go to that church. What would I tell? Is there anything? Moses, tell them anything. I know you got this. I got to go. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Leave him, leave him. Let him talk. Moses, what is going on? I can't find him. Osas! Get up! Osas! Osas! How is she? Same mom. She hasn't been talking to me or anyone. She's not even eating her food. It's like she's raging away before our very eyes. Huh. This thing is really getting out of hand. It's been over three weeks and all she does is sleep and barely eats her food. Are you sure we should have allowed the doctor to discharge her? My dear, like the doctor said, there is nothing physically wrong with her. She will talk when she's ready. But when, Dad? We've been hearing this ever since. When would she be okay to talk to us? Just let her be. I hope this does not turn out to be a psychiatric case. God forbid, Mom. Never. Have you heard from that idiot? 
No. But I spoke to his friend earlier and he said no one has seen him ever since. Maybe he has gone into hiding after what he did. Oh, he had better remain in hiding forever! Or better still be run over by a trailer. Because if I get my hands on him, I will certainly kill him! And I'll make sure the news will go viral on social media so that other demons like him will learn a lesson from it. God forbid. Just look at me. Beautiful, kind, intelligent, sociable, romantic. Yet it wasn't enough to stop me from being stood up at the altar. What did I do wrong? What was I supposed to do that I didn't do? I gave him everything. And he just took my heart and he crushed it into a million pieces. Just like that. How? How? My goodness. Sis, are you... Yes. Talking. What did you think? That I'd be deaf and dumb? No. He didn't take my voice. He just left me speechless. And for the past three weeks, I've been asking myself, why? What did I do wrong? How can he go just like that? Without a word? How? Lucas, I understand your pain. I want to ask you not to cry, but I really want you to let this go. I don't ever want you to think this whole thing is your fault. It's just a reflection of who he truly is. He was so sweet. So sweet. How can someone so sweet become so bitter? He was a bastard. Simple. He pursued me. He pursued me even when I ran. He pursued me. He was so loving. So kind. So romantic. How? Oh, maybe it will help if you left the past behind you. If talking about it is painful, then let it be. Oh. 
<sighs> we had so much fun together. Even in all of this, he never asked me to sleep with him. And that made me fall in love with him even more. And the way he proposed. <sighs> Can you blame me for saying yes? What kind of woman says no to that kind of man? And you know what, Rita? That was the night he made me a woman. It's not your fault. At that point in time, I could have given him the moon if it was mine to give. I loved him so much, so much. I even told myself I wasn't going to sleep with anyone until my wedding. But that night, he convinced me, said we would be married after all. He told me he was going to show me what love was about. And then he left me stranded at the altar. Rita, is that what love is? Enough of this, Osas. Enough! Of all people to cry about on this one, it's that beast. You can do better. Look, you have to be strong. Stay strong for yourself, Osas. Stay strong! You were pretty and you graduated with a first class degree in economics. Go out there, get yourself a nice job and do better. Kechi, you needed to have been at the party. Mm. I mean, the place was filled with guys with more money than sense. Mm. Go, see what I miss, Kai. At least next time, you will think twice before turning down any invitation I extend to you. Did I not explain to you? Did I not tell you that is that my that my pepe body boss that that delayed me here? Tell me, 10 p.m. You didn't let me leave this place, so oh. you are saying you said so. Mm -hmm. At least I'm enjoying myself. My boss is not around. Until the dragonian lady comes back with her dragonian robe. Well, now the dragon lady is back and wondering why you two are here gossiping instead of doing the work you were paid to do. Madam, I, I thought you were on leave. Mm. I was the one on leave. So I'm trying to understand how you're the one not working. We're, we're sorry, ma. This should not repeat itself again. I want the DR oil file on my table ASAP. All right, ma'am. So, what do you think? Brilliant. Thank God. <laughs> I, I thought you wouldn't like it. Why wouldn't I? Because it's not good enough. Well, I knew there was anyone who could pull this off. It's definitely you. I mean, this is our biggest project yet. And you are the right person for the job. Well, thank you so much for the vote of confidence. But you know I could have been out of town as I'm entitled to enjoy my leave to the fullest. Well, let's just say I knew you were probably in your apartment all cuddled up in your bed with some romantic novel that you like to read. <laughs> or you know that if you want the real thing, you know who to call. I can't. Oh, please, Da Silva, please. Let's not do this again. All I want us to do is focus on the job that pays us. I don't mix business with pleasure.
I miss your pretty face, though. Oh, please. Here we go again. But it's the truth. Come on, if you give me a chance, I could take you to unimaginable heights. Um, I like staying on ground level. Thank you very much. You know what? It baffles me how you would reject such a generous offer for myself. I mean, a lady in your position would be falling for me like an overripe apple. Are you trying to make a point or are you trying to irritate me? Look, like I said, that Silva, I'm not interested. Let's just focus on the job. Thank you. <laughs> just so you know, I won't be available for long. I think you should give the guy a chance. Yeah, just try. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. As far as you're concerned, I should give every guy a chance. Girl, please give me a break, I beg. So, so you know, that's not what I mean. Get yourself a good guy and be happy for goodness sake. And who says I'm not happy? The fact that you join yourself with work these days doesn't mean you are. I thought I invited you over so that we can catch up on old times, considering I haven't seen you in a while. But it's obvious you're boring now and no fun, and you've turned oh. into a mother hen. Oh no, 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 that's not it. I just feel you should put the whole Yemi experience behind you and forge your head. <laughs> oh God. Hey, just because you chose marriage and having kids, you assume everyone wants the same thing. Oh. Girl, I've got my career, can't you see? Well, it's a life. Exactly. Now let's talk about other important things. How is your husband and the kid? He's okay. They're fine. Okay. So, what's up with you? Work. Work, work, work. There it is. Mm. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, it's going to be fantastic. Okay, sir, thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, okay. No, 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 I'm actually just somewhere around. All right, no problem, I'll be with you shortly. Thank you, thank you, bye. Sight for sore eyes today. I thought that was an everyday thing. <laughs> anyway, your secretary said you were looking for me. Oh yeah, that was ages ago. Where have you been, by the way? Huh. I was at a meeting with the group managing directors of Proactive, mm -hmm. and I've been there all day. Tell me, how did it go? Did you get the deal? Signed, sealed, and delivered. No way. <laughs> no. And we're expecting a check as early as next week. <laughs> okay, this is this is totally cool. This calls for a celebration. What do you think? Lunch, Chinese? Mm, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, come on, man. You, you deserve a reward for bringing in such a big deal. <laughs> De Silva, I am paid to bring in the results, and that's what I do. Now, will that be all? <sighs> that will be all, Osa. Since you have refused. My launch request. I'll see you later this evening for the party. What party are you talking about? Okay. Our chairman, Chief Igwe, mm -hmm. he wants to throw a party this evening at the office. It's in your honor for your exceptional performance in the last six months. 
I don't even know the chairman. I've never met him. Okay, well, I think that's the thing. He's trying to rectify that by throwing a party to meet the staff and vice versa. And of course, he would like to meet the wizard who single-handedly saved his company from going down the drain. Don't give me all the credit. I couldn't have done this without you. We're a team, remember? And you are so exceptional, if I do say so myself. They say life don't come easy. I know hoping for a beautiful day. So put your head up, what you call it, go get something in your mind. Put on your smile. So put your head up, what you call it, go get something in your mind. Put on your How are you enjoying the party? Um, it's wonderful, sir. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. Good, good. I love beautiful things. I do beautiful things. I must say, you look a lot more beautiful than I was told. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Well, I've heard a lot about you. And uh, I would like to know you better. Um, say we have dinner together tomorrow? Um, I may have to decline, sir, unless it's work-related. Is that another way of saying no? With all due respect, sir, I don't mix business with pleasure. Um, if it was work-related, I could have obliged, but if it's not, I'm sorry I can't honor that. <laughs> Young lady, no woman has ever said no to Chief Igwe. Well, there's always a first time. Indeed. However, I, I consider this as a challenge. And you know something, I don't take challenge lightly. <laughs> I love challenges. Um, tell me, do you have a valid British visa? Yes, but I don't see how that has to do with anything. Get your things ready. Because on Wednesday, we are having dinner in London. Sir, I... I'll send my driver to come and pick you up on Wednesday morning. Okay? S and don't keep me waiting. Chief Igwe doesn't like to wait. We can go back to the party. Okay, sir. <laughs> All sir. right. Chief Igwe, 
I'm not sure we understand what you are, you are saying. Uh, well, um, it, it's straightforward, really. Uh, what I'm saying is that um, I'm in love with your niece. And as custom requires, I've come to ask for your permission to marry her. I'm sorry, but this matter is not worth even considering. You should be going for someone closer to you in age, and not us as. My niece is not for sale, Chief. She's not for sale. Chief Odium, who is saying anything about buying someone? Look, I, I've met quite a lot of women of my age since my wife passed. And I also met your niece. And I've fallen in love with her. But she's still so, so young. At least old enough to make important decisions for herself. Isn't she? So why not have a word with her before you, you draw conclusions? Um, I hope to hear from you soonest. Ah. Chief Odion. Good day, Chief. Thank you. Thank Good you. Day. Madam. Uh, Good day. Yeah, bless you. What is this world turning into? What is this world turning into? <laughs> Osas, you're not listening to me. I don't think you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Auntie, I don't understand what all this fuss is about. I'm 30 years old. 30 and not 53. You're the one that has always said, move on and settle down. That doesn't mean you should accept a marriage proposal from every man that sends you one, more or less a man that is almost twice your age. Tell me, is there more to this? Is it about his money? <laughs> Auntie, you say money like it's some kind of sin. Doesn't the Bible say that money answereth all things? Oh, shut up there. So it's about the money, right? Do you know how many times you've mentioned money in this discussion? Really? I'm not counting on. God! Oh, sirs, what has come over you? Look how your cousin turned out. She did not get ditched at the altar. Oh, grow up and stop all that nonsense. It's been over six years that thing happened. And auntie, healing does not come with timelines. Listen, if you go ahead and marry Chief Igwe, you'll be making one of the greatest mistakes of your life, money or not. Okay, Gosh. auntie, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Tell me, how was your day? Good. But it could have been better. What is it, my dear? Chief. Chief, we've been married for months now. I think it's time I go back to work. No, 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 no. It will be an insult to my personality for my wife to work. But Chief, we had an agreement. I told you I'll maintain my job and you agreed. I did? Yes, you did. Uh, it, it, it must be some... I mean, it must be under some... Heat of emotions. You know how you squeeze words out of my mouth? In bed? 
You don't know what you're doing to me. Chief, we had an agreement. And I'm not going to let you go back on it. I want to work. Look, Chief, if you do not let me get my job back at Watergreen, I am going to go and work for the rival. And you know me, darling. I do not make empty threats. <laughs> my little spitfire. Huh? You know, those emotions, huh? it turns me on. <laughs> and I think I'm the luckiest man to have married you. As a wife or as a prop? Okay. You win. You go back to what a great cause of. <laughs> really? Really? As a chairman. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this time you're mm -hmm. not going to report to anybody, you report directly to me. Okay. Because I want you to have time. You're not going to have um, much workload. Because mm. I want you to have time for me. Okay. So you <laughs> As you wish, my darling. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, gucci, 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 gucci. In fact, let us go finish up. Go upstairs and finish up. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. What is this I'm hearing about the Pearl Holding Project? Cancelled. Wait, but why? Because I'm the chairman and I can. We have been on this project for months. And it yielded nothing. I have put in so much work in that project. It just needed a little more time. I'm sorry, Da Silva. This is not happening. All this has done is gob funding while leaving other viable projects held up in line. We practically worked on the execution of this project. You believed in this project. And I am the one pulling the plug. Now, go and find another project to channel whatever energy you have burning inside of you. Gosh, what's that? what happened to you? You used to be this sweet, congenial executive. The next... I became the chairman of this firm and your boss. Now, do you need me to remind you or would you like HR to do the honors? I'll get back to my office. Mm -hmm. That is the most sensible thing you've said since you walked in here. Several, but I kept getting the switched off message. <sighs> Have you been out drinking again? For goodness sakes, Yemi, what is going on with you? Do you want to drive me up the wall with your 21 questions? Uh -uh. What is it? Why are you stressing me? I'm stressing you. Yes. It's one o'clock in the morning. And so? And so what? Did I invent time? What's, what am I supposed to do? For starters, you could have at least called me to tell me how your interview went. Oh. The interview? Yes, the interview. It's always about the interview these days. Interview here, interview there. Interview everywhere. Yemi. Okay. If you care to know, I blew it. I did not get the job. 
Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? Eh? You're sorry for nagging me day and night? So we had to move to, from London to Nigeria? Or you're sorry that I, I, I can't see my own father because of what I did six years ago? Which is which? Baby, you can't give up just like that. We need to keep hope alive. O'Shea and Obama, the audacity of hope. That's not funny. Does it look like I'm laughing? Huh? Does it? Well, let's just pray that this hope of yours will cash out a substantial amount of money from the bank. Because it is the Sahara in these pockets of mine. Did I tell you I can't walk? I had the one that brought me home. I'm very sorry. Why don't you help me get a job? Help me get a job! Are you sure this is the best candidate you could get? Well, he has the best resume and an aced his interview. Are you sure about that? Because it says here he studied mass communication and we're looking for a candidate who studied communication arts. I think maybe we should- I have been hiring recruits for this firm for the past eight years. And my records of bringing the best hands have been impeccable. Mm -hmm. When I say a candidate is ideal, he is ideal. Mr. Da Silva? I want all the files of all the candidates on my desk right now. But... No buts, Mr. Da Silva. I am the chairman and CEO of this firm. Whatever I say goes. No questioning and certainly no objections. Is that understood? But that is impossible. I do not care if you have to move the Himalayas to make it happen. I want that appointment terminated immediately. But, but, wait, look, we cannot just cancel his appointment like that. Now. He's supposed to be doing more Monday. How do we just tell him that he's no more working here now? If you can tell me how that's any of your business, then we can talk. This is my company, and whatever I say goes. Look, Osas, madam, we do not run a one-man show here. And decisions like this cannot be taken unilaterally. I mean, I interviewed this guy, this person myself. And he's more qualified than this Yemi Ajayi you, you, you want. Mr. Da Silva, you will go to the Human Resources Department and ask them to dispatch a letter to Mr. Ajayi. End of discussion. Baby? 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 What is it? What happened? Read this, read this, read this, read this, read this. What's this? Just read the email. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god! Yes! You got the job! Yes, I got the job! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so oh excited. Oh my god, you got the job! Yes! Oh my god. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Oh, I'm just so happy. Baby, we've been through a lot this past few months and I've been questioning myself if we made the right decision coming back. Baby, guess what? Those days are behind us now. Thanks to God. Thank okay? God. I got the job. You got the job. I got the job. Right here, right here, right here, right here. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go with her. Let me take you inside. I Let me take you inside. Don't worry about the food. 
We're gonna take off that later. Too much excitement. Good, darling. Oh, thank you, honey. You're welcome. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, dear. You know what? You're one of my best investments in a very long time. Uh, investment? I see. Hmm. So that's how you see me, Chief? As one of your purchases? No, um, I'm, I'm sorry. It, uh, it didn't come out well. What I mean to say is that um, <sighs> you're very precious to me. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Hello? <laughs> how are you? Actually, I'm in the middle of something, so I'll call you later, okay? Alright. Take care. Bye. Who was that? No one you should bother about. It is my duty to know who you talk to and who you see all the time. So who was that? Chief, I don't understand this obsession. I mean, don't I have a right to answer my phone without my husband breathing down my neck? No, you don't. And let me remind you that you are married to me. And so you are answerable to me. I cannot be disgraced. If you try to fool me, you will have yourself to blame for the consequences. Chief. That sounds like a threat, and I don't like it. <sighs> what I mean to say is that don't take my kindness for foolishness. I love you, and what I love, I protect fiercely. If you step out of line, I will deal with you accordingly. Chief, what's the meaning of all of this now? Where's all this coming from? I want you to always remember that you are my wife. If you behave accordingly, no problem. But if you misbehave, I will not hesitate to put you back in line. Honestly, I don't get it. What is wrong with this report? <laughs> uh, my brother, if you ask me, who I'll go ask now. <sighs> this is crazy. This is so crazy. I did this thing exactly the way it's supposed to be done. Why would she reject it? The question you should be asking is what would she not reject? You yeah, have even lucky she told you to go and rewrite the report. It took me a whole week. A whole week to do this. What madame wants, madame gets. You know what? I am going to see her. Do you hate your job already? Meaning? Madame will see whoever she wants to see, whenever she wants to see the person. And you don't have an appointment, so I suggest you stay back because you cannot see her. But that is ridiculous. We work together. We should be able to sit and discuss from time to time. Look, I'm sure she will see you when she's ready to see you. But for now, I'll suggest you go back and do your report, okay? Welcome to Water Green Consult. This is, this is insane. Never see something. <laughs> How many times am I supposed to do this report? How many times? Hey, to my education for this, it's true.
A few more steps and you'll burn a hole in the ground. At least it's not going to be a deeper hole than what they're burning into my brain at the office. Baby, you're new there. Just give them some time. At the very least, tread softly until you're confirmed. With the rate at which this woman is throwing out my efforts, will there be a job to confirm? Here, have some. Thanks. <laughs> you should see the look on your face right now. I don't know why she never finds anything I do satisfying. She makes me do everything twice. Sometimes three times. You know what? I think she likes you. What kind of a weird ass likeness is that? We've never met yet she stresses me like hell. I can never go past her secretary's desk without an appointment. Okay, baby, listen. You're being paid a salary. Just do your job, do your best, and leave the rest for God. Hopefully she'll come around someday. Yeah? Mm. I'll give my my kiss. Mm -hmm. So you want to finish my stuff? Give it to me, Joe. Did I say you should finish it? Oh, you also want to stress me? Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh uh. Sorry. Yeah, take, take. It's okay. <laughs> Why is he wearing a dress? That, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You can't. Sorry, sir. You can't do that. Um, madam. Sorry, I tried to tr stop him, but he wouldn't. It's listen. okay, Janet. You can go back to your office. Thank I'll you. see Mr. Ajayi. Okay. Pretty ballsy of you to barge into my office without an appointment, Mr. Ajayi. With all due respect, Mrs. Igwe, I think it's time we sorted this out. I don't know what I have done to deserve this kind of treatment. You cancelled and rescheduled a meeting I was to have with the client without even talking to me. An appointment that took me weeks to clinch. Are you sure about that? Osas. Mm, that is Mrs. Igwe to you now. Or better still, Madame. Why? Did I reschedule and cancel the meeting? Simple, because I can. And that meeting will happen when I say it will. Osas. Again, it is Mrs. Igwe or Madame to you. Those are the only two options you have. Now, darling, if I were you, I'd be going to pack for my meeting. You don't want to miss out on a meeting you work so hard to get now, do you? He will have my resignation. <laughs> oh, are you sure that's the best decision you want to make for your pregnant wife at home? How did you know? <laughs> Money and power. You should try having them someday. Just resign like that. Babe, you won't understand. Then make me understand. You know how long it took you to get this job? Yes, I know. Then what happened? You got a good thing going on and you just want to resign because of a few minor obstacles. Obstacles? More like mountains from where I am sitting. Those mountains are there to show us that they can be moved. Hear me? Nothing good comes easy. You don't run from trouble, you face it. Oh, this trouble? This particular trouble I want to run away from, to be honest. Sweetie, please, don't do anything rash. 
If not for me, please think of our baby. That's all I have done all day. Think. I have thought so much that my head started feeling like splitting into two. Baby, that office is a lion's den. And I don't feel like a Daniel right now. Honestly, I don't understand you, Yemi. Honestly, I don't. Is there more to this that meets the eye? Is there something going on? Please. No, baby, baby, no. I just feel frustrated. I, I don't know what to do. Baby, everything will be fine. All you need now is a little bit of patience. I promise you. Okay? Thank you. I don't know what I'll do without your love and support. Those were our vows, remember? I want you to promise me one thing. Anything for you, my love. Promise me you'll never leave, no matter what. That's the easy part. The question should be, will you be there for me? Forever. I love you, and I'll be here forever. I love you too. to see me? That's an understatement. <laughs> Shock is more like it. <laughs> what are you doing here? How did you get in my room? I'm a very determined woman. What do you want? <laughs> Nothing you can't give me. You're a man of many talents, so I'm sure you can deliver. <laughs> Look, I know I am not one of your favorite people in the world. But you've been here? It's been almost seven years. Almost seven years, Yemi, since you left me at the altar without as much as an explanation. I've waited almost seven years. I think I deserve an answer. Look, this is not the right time or place to talk about this. We can talk about this after the meeting. No, we can discuss about it now. This is the perfect time and place. I didn't reschedule any meeting. It's been part of the plan all along. Why? Because I wanted us to be together. Just the two of us, away from prying eyes. Just like it was seven years ago. Seven years ago before you decided that I wasn't good enough for you. Yemi. Yemi, I want you to look me in my eye. Look me in my eye and tell me why you left me at the altar on our wedding day. Tell me, tell me, or have you lost your voice? Have you lost your voice the way I lost mine for three months? Tell me, Yemi. Osas, I am sorry. I am on my knees, please. Forgive me. Yes, you're right, I deserve no mercy. But there's nothing I can do or say to change that moment of hurt. Please. Have mercy. <laughs> Osansa, I'm sorry. Please.
Morning, darling. Did you sleep well? No. No? Why? I just committed adultery. We just committed adultery. <laughs> is that why you're so tense? That is reason enough. That's a sin. I beg. Now smash we smash, we no kill person. What part of what we did is not clicking? Oh please, it's just sex. We were having good sex before you left me for Sister Glory. I mean, same padlock, same key, different time. Look, this cannot continue. I think you should get your own room. If you do not care about your husband, I do care about my wife and I don't want to hurt her. Oh, but you had no qualms hurting me, right? I am sorry. I am so sorry for leaving you on the altar. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> Who says I haven't? Fighting? You tell me. Since my husband has decided to stay away from his house for one week. Oh, not again. <laughs> yes, again. And I'll continue asking you about this until you tell me what you're doing at that company. Ah, ah. Is this company now an oil exploration company that you, you, you go offshore? For goodness sake, honey, I have told you that the pressure at the office is too much. <laughs> the workload has increased. This is the same company you were complaining about, Abby. You said I should be patient, right? And I took your advice. <laughs> Yemi, something is going on. And you will tell me. Something like what? You tell me. I have this feeling that something is not right. Baby, baby. This is your hormones playing Candy Crush with your imagination. Oh, my hormones. <laughs> Yemi, you will not make me feel like I don't know what I'm saying. You won't. I've been having this reoccurring dream about you and some girl in your office that I can't place her face. Wait, 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 wait. You are having this argument with me because of a dream. This is not because of a dream and you know- Then stop bothering me! Stop! It is bad enough that I am stressed so much in the office only to come home and to be blasted like this? Jeez. Excuse me. My dear, I don't even know what that lady was saying, I beg. I didn't even answer her. That's really just her business. Who is stressing me? Hey. Yeah. Hi. Let me have that. What if that was urgent? Well, this is equally urgent. <sighs> Darling, you're here. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Um. So we can, let's just reschedule. Um, yeah, I'll just come back. Yes, um, yes. Your phone. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Hey, sweetie, good afternoon.
Is is there something in particular that you're looking for? Have a good rest of your day, sweetie. Have a good Something so serious. Are you all right? Don't I look all right? <laughs> Relax, babes. It's just a little fun. Fun? Mm -hmm. Look, Osas, your life is on the balance and you call that fun? Weren't you the one that told me your husband has threatened you several times? And that's all they've been. Threats. So, you will keep pushing your luck till you get caught. I'm sure you know how much shit you will be in once he finds out. Mm. And how is he going to find out? Are you going to tell him? I never said that. Exactly. Then let it be. That old man is all bark and no bite anyway. Besides, I have him all wrapped around my finger. If he finds out, which I doubt he will, all I have to do is wriggle my waist in bed and show him some of my moves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wriggle your waist? What's that? Wait, I think you need to come with me to the church because you've obviously lost your soul. Please, 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 Rita. Wait, you just have to put a stop to all this. What do you hope to achieve from it? Revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Yemi nearly destroyed my life, and in turn, I'm going to destroy his. Listen to me, Osas. You know, no one actually gets anything out of revenge. You just have to put a stop to all this before you destroy yourself. See, the Bible says... And please, no, Rita. You're preaching to the wrong congregation. I really don't want to talk about this anymore. Is that okay? Let's just talk about something else. Baby, what is all this? What is all this now? I have told you that I am not having an affair. Amy, you are not telling me the truth. You are not. The signs are everywhere. You don't come home anymore. You receive calls at odd hours. And if I'm close to you, you end the call or you say it's poor network. Baby, it's work. It's oh. work, work, work. I keep telling you, there's so much pressure at work. Oh. So this is Chief Igwe that is calling you at 2 a.m. It's, it's Chief. At 2 a.m. in the morning. Chief. It's Chief. Okay, it's, no. it's a private number. Uh -huh. Stop this. Hello? Stop. Hey. Stop it. What has come you over see? you? You see? I see what? That's a woman's voice. How is that a woman's voice? It's a private yes, number. Yes, it's a woman's voice. Which private number? It's a woman's voice. Honey, this could have been an international call. Which what are you saying? Which international call? Why don't they call me? Why don't they mistakenly call me? Why is it always you? Babe, it's... Always you. It's 2 a.m. No a. problem, Yemi. I am tired and I want to sleep. People are sleeping. Let me sleep now. Sleep. Can we just go to bed? Go to I bed. I have told you that I am not having an affair. What is all this? Sleep. You want to sleep, Ba? Let's go to sleep. sleep. We'll go to sleep together. Go to sleep. Baby, what is all this now? I've missed you. Huh? Come, let's go to sleep. Yemi, you are trying me. You are trying me in this house. You are, pregnant. you are trying me. You are pregnant too. Okay. <sighs> Let's go away together. Just the two of us. For another week? I'm spending too much time away from home. My wife will sure give me an earful. I'm talking about eloping. Eloping? Yes. Just the two of us. We'll go somewhere where nobody knows us and we'll start a new life as a couple. <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you even listening to yourself? What then happens to my wife? Your husband. 
I don't see how they're a problem. I mean, it's your fault we both married other people. I have you in my life again and you think I'm just going to let you go just like that? Osiris. <clears throat> Let's see reason into this. Whatever happened was an unfortunate. I am sorry. But two wrongs don't make a right. My wife. Oh! God. Here we go again. Your wife, your wife, your wife. It's always about your goddamn wife. She's going through emotional trauma, and if I don't take care, she will lose the baby. And me? And me? You don't think I'm traumatized? I've been traumatized for almost seven years, and it doesn't seem to mean anything to you. But I have begged you. I have asked you for forgiveness. What else do you want from me? I want us to be together forever. Just the two of us. Jesus. What we are doing is a sin. It's an abomination before God. You know that, right? Oh, really? And abandoning me at the altar? Taking my virginity and ghosting on me? Don't go all moral on me. Sin is sin. And if we're going to hell, we better make it one hell of a ride. Really? Really? You know what? There's no point reasoning with you. But if you want to go down that path, you're going to go down that path by yourself. I am not going to go down with you. Never! Hmm. Okay. No problem. Let's get on the highway to hell then. Auntie, don't believe everything you hear. I mean, how can I even do such a thing? I didn't call you here to ask you anything since you refused to come and see me since I sent for you two weeks ago. I'm sorry, Auntie. Things were really busy at the office. No problem. I just want to warn you to desist from such ungodly acts. Our family will no longer take any scandal from you again. Auntie. Are you accusing me of something you have no proof of? People have eyes. They are not blind that they can see you. I mean, how can you, a married woman, be gallivanting all over the place with a married man, sleeping in hotels, doing all sorts of unthinkable things? I'm talking to you. Thank you so much, Auntie, for this wonderful advice. Um, I'm a little parched now, so I'm going to go to the kitchen and get something to drink. Thank you. It's not funny now. It's not funny. Why are you laughing? Wait. In just three months, and you are Shaggy the mother of dragons. And you are here looking like a misery on two feet. Get a man you be, Joe. <laughs> Take me, Joe. <laughs> you know, if I wanted you to laugh, I would have told you a joke. <laughs> I am serious here. Are you going to help me or not? Okay, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> what do you want me to do? Advise me, okay? I, I want to go and see Chief. You know, you've known him longer than I do. Wait, How do I go about it? Wait, wait come on. You, you, you say you want to do what? I swear it was a mistake coming to talk to you. <laughs> okay, wait. So you're peeing in a man's garden. I want to tell him it's really like, Wait, what exactly do you want to say to him? How sweet his wife is in bed? No, now. Guy, you know what I mean. Look, look, Yemi. Let's, let's be real here. Okay? You don't know the kind of person Chief is. Chief would just kill you for nothing. Okay, well, you slept with his wife, but he will shall just kill you, shall. Please, I beg. Eh? <laughs> what problem? <laughs> ah. Okay, we go. How is she? How is she guys? How are you? How's this? I'm your guy. <laughs> Mr. Big Stuff. 
You shouldn't have read my messages. Well, I did. Since we couldn't meet today, we'll meet tomorrow. I love you, Osas. Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> it's not what you think. Should I even ask? Are you having an affair with Osas? Baby, we can talk about this, okay? This is the same Osas that is married to Chifigwe, right? Yes, ma. All right, ma. I'll do just that, ma. Yes, ma. This way, ma, please. Can have your seat over there. She will join you soon. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mrs. I believe you know who I am. I do. I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to appeal to you to please leave my husband alone. Osas, you have the whole world at your feet and can have more if you want. Oh, Yemi is all I've got. So please, leave my husband alone. You're making things extremely difficult for us as it is. <laughs> <laughs> difficult? <laughs> Girl, I've got to laugh again. Now, I don't know what your husband has been telling you, but Yemi can't seem to get enough of me. And I can see why. Of course you can't give it to him the way I can, especially with that. Anyway, girl, the next time you want to come marching into my company, you better get your facts straight first. Now, if you'd please excuse me, I'm a very busy woman. I've said all I came here to say. Leave us alone and face your own husband. You should be telling that to your husband and not me. Tell your husband to leave me alone. Have you no shame? Or since you're a married woman, for goodness sake! You wouldn't know shame even if it hit you with a Mack truck. Mrs. Ajayi, you've overstayed your welcome. Now please leave my office before I call the security on you. Shame. What the hell do you think you know about shame? You did what? I did what any wife would do, given the circumstances. Good Lord, I can't believe this. How can you embarrass me like this? What did you expect me to do? Sit by and let my husband sleep away? And you think going to her office to confront her was the best thing to do? Do you know how stupid you sound? Do you know how much of a fool you have made me look? How can you be so selfish? What about me? What about this baby? Do you know how it's been for me? Do you know the agony I've been dealing with these past few weeks? Watching you sneak around the house like a common thief? Or listening to the gory details of your lovemaking? Ha! How do you think that made me feel? You know what, Yemi? I'm going to ask you this once. Do you love her? Will you abandon me for her? Will you leave the baby and I for her sake, Yemi? You need to tell me now because I need to know. I swear I don't love that woman. Baby, I'm sorry. You are I... sorry. What else do you want me to say? Huh? I find myself in a situation that I can't keep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me be truthful to you. Osas and I used to date. We were actually close to getting married when I walked out on her on the altar about 
seven years ago. What did you just say? I'm not proud of it. I'm not. But for some stupid stroke of luck, I, I got a job in her company. One thing led to another, and I find myself in this deep mess. Okay. Okay. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know, baby, and I can't quit the job because she's well connected. If I do, she's going to make sure I don't get another job in this town. What kind of witchcraft is this one now? That's her calling. Baby. Baby. I will not have anything to do with her. I promise. It's easier said than done. When you'll be seeing each other every day in the same vicinity. Oh. What is all this now? What is all this? I thought I could reason with you as a human being. Well, now I see that you're not one. So listen to me, or sass, or whatever you call yourself. Do not call my husband again. Or I will pick up my phone and call your husband and tell him everything. I promise you. Do you understand me? I regret moving to this country. Ignoring me. I am busy. Oh, ugh. 
with that frumpy princess you call a wife. Bye. Yemi, Yemi, wait, Yemi, wait, please. Don't do this to me now. Look, I already have everything here set up for you. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Listen, if you don't come here in an hour, a housekeeping will find my cops in this room. Are you mad? Mad about you? Yes. Yemi, and don't you dare call my bluff. Look, I've already written a note telling housekeeping that you were responsible for my death. So if I ever meant anything to you, you would show up. Okay? Thank you, darling. What's going on? It's Osas. What does she want? She wants me to come for my birthday. You mean you're not going anywhere? Honey, she sounded desperate. She said if I don't come, she will kill herself. She can't kill herself for all I care. So that they pin her death on me? Do you want me to go to jail? She's just bluffing. She's trying to get your attention so you can come over there and see her. I'd rather take my chances. Osas is a woman on a mission. And I don't want to be held responsible for anything negative. God, why? Why won't this woman just stay away from us? Baby. Why? Listen to me. It is time I take care of this once and for all. Then pick up your phone and call her. You don't have to go over there to see her. It's not going to work. Look, calm down, okay? I promise you, today will be the last day we'll have to deal with this issue. Come here. Come here. Look at me. I'll be back in an hour, all right? Time to end all of this once and for all. I had a good mind to ignore you today. Mm. Then why did you come? Because I know you're crazy enough to do something stupid. Look, I've had it with you. And if you don't leave me alone, I will go to your husband and I'll tell him everything. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to be scared of that? <laughs> Kimmy. You underestimate the love I feel for you. It's so deep, not even your wife or my husband can stop that. Now stop using my husband to threaten me. Really? We'll see about that. Hello? Good evening, sir. Uh, am I speaking with Chief Igwe? I am at the Wealth Hotel with your wife, room number 305. I am tired of your wife harassing me of sex and I need you to come here and get her out of here. Please. Bluffing? <laughs> I guessed as much. Now, do you think every monkey in the zoo has access to my husband's direct line? Now stop playing hard to get and come here. <sighs>
pick up your call. Um, hello? Are they still there? Good, I'm coming. It's not what you think, eh? I came to get the file. I came to get the file, okay? It's just a file. in your heart to forgive me. I need some time alone. So I need you to please leave. I swear I will make it up to you. Baby, baby, please, I, don't, don't, don't do this to, don't do this to us, please. I am sorry. Please, I can't, I can't leave you, can't you see? I can't leave you, I can't leave you! Please, don't do this to me. Baby, baby, please. Baby. You too. 
Somebody, I 